Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. It is extremely critical to monitor iron overload in chronically transfused patients so that early intervention can be practiced. And so it is also critical to be able to uh, assess accurately at various stages of the disease in each individual patient where they stand uh, with iron overload. There are multiple tests that are available, but um, it must be remembered that no single test so far has been shown to be the uh, yardstick for the perfect uh, and most accurate determinant of iron overload. So for example, we try to use a combination of the number of transfusions a patient has received and serum ferritin level. Um, now, serum ferritin level could be high from many reasons because it is an acute phase reactant. So it could be high because the patient is infected or it could be high just from the activity of the disease itself in the bone marrow. So by itself, serum ferritin level alone is not a perfect indicator of iron overload. But when a high serum ferritin level, higher than 1,000 mm. milligrams, is combined with a history of at least 10 transfusions, which is 20 units of blood. And when this high serum ferritin is sustained over a period of time, not just an episodic high and coming down, so then we say that, okay, now the serum ferritin is a relatively more reliable indicator that iron overload is present in this patient. So the first important test for iron overload is serum ferritin level of over a thousand combined with a history of a minimum of 10 transfusions or 20 units of blood. The second thing that we can measure to uh, indicate whether there is iron overload or not is related to labile plasma iron. Now remember that uh, uh, transferrin is a molecule that binds to iron and is, uh, really transports the iron. But once it gets saturated, then iron remains in the serum as, um, as free iron, and that is called labile plasma iron. Um, that has to be, that can be an, a good indicator of iron overload, but it's a very complicated uh, test by which it is measured. So it's not something that is commonly used. Probably the single most um, accurate uh, predictor of iron overload right now is uh, the use of uh, T2 star MRIs, both for uh, cardiac iron overload as well as hepatic iron overload. Uh, so T2 star MRI uh, can be used as the gold standard in the future, but not uh, readily available everywhere at the moment. Uh, we hope that in the future we'll have some um, uh, well-documented, well-conducted uh, studies which relate iron uh, T2 star MRI to serum ferritin level, to transferrin level, to labile plasma ion, et cetera, and show. So in summary, we have serum ferritin level, we have uh, MRIs, and we have the labile plasma ion measurements. None of these by themselves alone is the perfect indicator of iron overload, but in some combination, they, may, uh, they really do indicate when a patient is overloaded with iron.